Welcome. I wanted to introduce the ancient trompe tile technique to you uh, because it, this seems to be disappearing a little bit. Not many people uh, know how to use it and incorporate it in their work, in their artwork or trompe And I found many instances in, well, in some of my larger projects where I needed different decor at the bottom of a mural or uh, on the side or on the soffit somewhere in the kitchen or you know somewhere where you have a, a, a you want to do something a little bit different so uh, you can create any type of design you'd like on the on the tile this is what I like you can do a pattern design you can do some fruits you can do some uh, landscaping you can do anything uh, that you uh, really enjoy to do or that would fit the decor you're working on and uh, you know it, it's something that uh, it's going to be a plus when you come to uh, uh, work somewhere to give to your client so uh, I just think that uh, it's a good uh, a good thing and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy it and uh, you know for just follow the steps I'm going to show you every steps how to uh, you know uh, transfer your design onto the wall or for instance, this is going to be a form board, uh, 30 by 40. So uh, first prime the form board uh, with a next shell finish or uh, satin. Uh, I normally use Benjamin more, but you know, uh, egg shell finish, white or half white, uh, depending of what you have or access, what is accessible to you. <coughs> and then I'll show you how to uh, mix, mix each color. Uh, and then how to detail uh, the design with each color and in the pattern, and uh, do the you know the grouts and every, the grout line and everything, and give it that 3D look to it. Uh, normally, this would be much uh, more elaborate into a mural because you would need to do uh, around it uh, some more tile work, uh, perhaps a border at the bottom or. A mural at the top so uh, you know I, I just uh, think uh, it's gonna be something that you can use eventually hope you're gonna enjoy it and you can also visit my website at evesart.com send me any question you might have or send me a picture of your artwork once it's done if you'd like my comments on it and uh, until next time thank you for watching